हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई एम मनोज खुंडारे द असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉनिक साइंस वेलकम बैक टू आवर ई लर्निंग प्लेटफॉर्म इन प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैव सीन द जनरल आइडिया अबाउट द इनपुट आउटपुट इंटरफेस द लिंक ऑफ द प्रीवियस वीडियो इज अवेलेबल इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स प्लीज चेक इट नाउ इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सी द ब्लॉक डायग्राम ऑफ इनपुट आउटपुट इंटरफेस according to different books there are different block diagrams of input output interface but in this video we are going to see the two block diagrams of input output interface and input output interfacing module okay both the block diagrams are same except some differences let's see this is the first block diagram and this is the second block diagram we are going to see the details about both block diagram one by one let's see our today's topic block diagram of input output interface first of all let's see once again what is input output interface in previous video we have seen that the computer system has the number of input output devices the cpu is connected with the number of input output devices through the interface what is the need of interface we know that the cpu works on the different signals and the input output devices like monitor keyboard hard disk printer these devices are works on the different signal hence for the synchronization between cpu and the other input output devices we require the interface okay this input output interface this input output interface now available in different modules and the module or the interface diagram or the interface is depends on the manufacturer of the processor and the computer okay i hope you all understand these things now let's start our topic the block diagram of input output interface the block diagram of an input output interface unit contains the following block in this diagram we can see here there are different blocks that means cpu is connected with input output devices through this interface unit this is the very simplified diagram of the input output interface in which we can see that there are number of blocks in interface unit that is the data bus buffer internal bus read write control logic block port a port b control register status register etc let's see the details about each block one by one the first one is the data bus buffer that means this data bus buffer the bus buffer use bidirectional data bus to communicate with cpu as shown in the diagram we can see here there is a bidirectional arrow this bidirectional arrow means that the data can be sent in both direction that means it can send and also it can receive hence there is a bidirectional arrow is placed okay all control word data and status information between interface unit and cpu are transferred through data bus that means all the all type of data is transferred through this data bus buffer the next one is port a and port b that means this port a and port b port a and port b are used to transfer data between input output device and interface unit that means port a and b are used to transfer data between input output device and the input sorry interface unit each port consist of bidirectional data input buffer and bidirectional data output buffer as here we can see that there is also a bidirectional arrow 
that means it has bidirectional data input buffer and bidirectional data output buffer interface unit connect directly with an input device and output disk or device that require both input and output through port a and b that is modem external hard drive magnetic disk these type of device are connected through the port a and port b of the interface module okay the next block is the control register and the status register this control register and the status register if we see the diagram then we can see that in control register it gets signal from the system bus that means from cpu to internal bus to control register and here the input the status register gets signal from the io device towards the internal bus i hope you all understand this direction of the arrow let's see what is the purpose of this direction of arrows cpu gives control information to control register on the basis of control information interface unit control input and output operation between cpu and input output device that means the cpu gives control signal to the control register for the input output device bits which are present in the status register are used for checking of status condition this the bits which are placed in the status register these bits are used to check the status of this io devices status register indicate the status of data register port a port b and also record error that may be occur during transfer of data that means there is a different work of control register and status register in some block diagrams the control register and status register is same the next block is read write control logic that means this read write control logic block this block generates necessary control signals for overall device operations all commands from cpu are accepted through this block that means whatever command given by the cpu is first given to this read write control logic block it also allow status of interface unit to be transferred on to data bus through this block except cs that means chip select read and write control read and write control signal from the system bus and s0 s1 from the system address bus s0 and s1 from system address bus a0 and a1 read and write signals are used to define direction of data transfer over the data bus that means if we want to read signal then we have to get the information from the cpu okay like this then the read signal directs data transfer from interface unit to cpu the read signal directs data transfer from in interface unit to cpu and write signal direct data transfer from cpu to interface unit through data bus and these commands are given by the cpu to this read write control logic block address bus is used to select interface unit this address bus has the address of all the input output device and this address bus is used to select the proper input output device that means whether it want the monitor or hard disk or the display etc two list significant lines of address bus a0 and a1 are connected to select lines s0 and s1 these two select input lines are used to select any one of four registers in the interface unit now let's see the second block diagram of 
the input output interface or input output module that is the general block diagram of input output module the input output module vary considerably in complexity and the number of external devices that they control let's see in this block diagram there are the blocks like the data register status and control register input output logic and external device interface logic like this okay each external device interface logic has the data lines status lines and control lines there is a interface to system bus and here is interface to external device there are data lines address lines and control lines the data lines are provided by data bus address lines are provided by address bus and control lines are provided by control bus okay now let's see the description about this block diagram the module connects to the, to the rest of the computer through set of li signal lines that is system bus lines these system bus lines are data lines address lines and control lines data transfer to and from the computer sorry the data transfer to and from the module are buffered into one or more data register that means whatever the data we want to transfer or receive is placed into or it happens through the data register there may also be one or more status register that provide the current status information this status register or control registers gives us the status of the different blocks or different io devices there may also be one or more status registers that provide the current status information a status register may also function as the control register to accept detailed control information from the processor as we have seen previously there is separate data sorry separate status and control registers but in some block diagrams the status and control registers are same but they work differently okay that means sometimes it works as the status registers and sometimes it works as the control registers the logic within the module interacts with the processor via set of control lines this input output logic the processor uses the control lines to issue commands to the input output module these control lines are used to operate the input output logic some of the control lines may be used by the input output module for arbitration and for status signals the module must also be able to recognize and generate address associated with the device it controls each input output module has unique address or if it controls more than one external device a unique set of addresses that means there are number of input output devices like monitor printer or hard disk etc each of them has the unique address and this address is given by the cpu to this module finally the io module that means input output module contains logic specific to the interface with each device that it controls i hope you all understand both the block diagrams of input output interface and input output module thank you